Hello students, today we are going to see this uh, topic inserting audio and video. Okay, so uh, the last topic of uh, chapter 8, okay, so that is uh, uh, inserting audio and video. <coughs> so opening uh, open office impress will let you to insert audio files and movie files the audio and movie files can be inserted by clicking uh, insert movie and sound operation from the insert menu okay so there is a menu okay there is a separate menu which is known as insert that hands handles external data other than uh, uh, open office impress data which are apart from the open office impress can be uh, uh, imported or inserted inside this application okay so the the option in that you can select the uh, movies and sound which is available next to uh, table and before object so this uh, this menu will open a uh, open a dialog box so in, insert movie and sound dialog box in that you have to go and uh, locate the um, locate where the audio or video file is there after selecting it you can just uh, click open to insert it in your uh, insert it in your presentation okay so uh, it may be av uh, it may be available with uh, uh, auto play okay so when the when when the when the slide which which is inserted uh, which is inserted the audio or video file will be uh, when you move or transit from one slide to another slide uh, if the slide contains uh, uh, audio or video file then it will automatically play the uh, audio or video file so if you if you doesn't want that then the control must be yours then you can also go and change it in the uh, settings so uh, same as inserting image here also dialog box appears uh, to open dialog box will be open to select the audio and movie file from the specific location and open it will be opened in the slide figure 8.46 the movies or audio file will be inserted will be played during the slideshow by clicking the mouse over it okay so if you want to uh, play the uh, audio or video file you have to move the mouse pointer over it and you have to make a click on it okay so uh, this is the way to insert a audio video file into into your slide and then uh, how to play it and uh, what are all the options that are available in inserting audio and video file is been discussed okay so this is the end of this chapter so we'll move on to the next chapter which is uh, yes chapter 9 introduction to internet and email okay so this is this comes under unit 3 uh, so in this chapter we are going to learn about the necessity okay the necessity of the internet uh, in commerce okay so how the commerce department is using the internet for their development okay so that that is discussed here and the types of network available service available in the internet applications of internet difference between internet internet and external <coughs> <coughs> hmm. difference between web page and website difference between static and dynamic web page uh, difference between browser and search engine do's and don'ts of uh, safe surfing 
on the internet so these are all the things that we are going to see in this chapter first of all we'll see the necessity of internet so it is important to understand what is uh, oh, what a network is and the importance of network simply put a network in a uh, put a network is a collection of inter- interconnected device so to understand the importance of uh, network let us look at how this thing work before network was created for this consider a large multinational company that sell full products in a time when network doesn't exist so let us uh, call this company uh, shri mother international limited so imagine the amount of information such as sales inventory etc required by the management of a company to make every every day decision to get get this information the their local official will need to mail or fax printed reports or even send the media okay floppies through the postal services by the time the mail is received the data uh, the data is already old okay already a day old already days old when uh, even if uh, reports are faxed it will be it is uh, it will be a cumbersome task okay cumbersome task means it's a very difficult task to consolidate all reports uh, this uh, task also increases chance of human error since large number of uh, large number of reports are manually co- collated this is just one part of uh, the equation you also need to be need to consider the information required required by the local offices they also need various data from the head office and other offices around the world now consider the same company but in present day ta- present time with all its office interconnected they would uh, use a single application around the world that takes advantages of their global network the uh, data from all offices would be instantly stored in the centralized location and uh, with a single click the management team <coughs> can use data from around the world in any format that they like this uh, this data would be also real time uh, this means that they see it as it happening since the data is uh, centralized all office locations can see data pertained at any location as you can see the cost time effort involved in the transfer data was uh, much high higher without network so networks uh, decreases cost time and effort and thereby increases productivity they also help in resource optimization by helping to store resource a simple example of resource sharing is a printer sharing between many different companies in a topic typical office so necessity of internet so today network is not only the definition says that uh, it is an interconnected interconnection of uh, one or more computer devices or electronic device 
not only that but also the work that is carried out okay so here in, in your book they are uh, giving an example here uh, the first example is uh, a, a company which is around the world but uh, they are doing a uh, food food processing company food production company so they are uh, they are present uh, uh, they are doing their business before the invention of network so uh, uh, just uh, take a small imagination that uh, how this comp- how this company would share data with this uh, with this uh, sub office or uh, or uh, main office or other offices and how the management team will send all the decisions based on what data okay so when you send data through mail or uh, fax then it will be out of date okay so when they send by mail uh, ordinary mail the data will be already old when it reaches the destination so uh, and you and you can see that uh, fax when you when you send the data by fax the person who has to collect all the reports and uh, they have to join or read all the reports so which is a very tough one so uh, and and there is a possibility of uh, arise or uh, arising of human errors okay so when a single person is handling more data than uh, by confusion or by mistake he, he may he or she may arise a error okay so which uh, which end up in the performance of the uh, which end up in performance of the products in the company okay so so consider the same company which is present right now okay so how the data will be transmitted very instantly and the computers are very quick in uh, calculation and uh, you could see that it is a very easy way just by, just by a click of a button you can see all the data around the world uh, even in the main office and in the sub offices and you can see that everything can be done within a fraction of time okay so uh, when when the when the work takes very less amount of time then you can see that the effectiveness and productivity of the uh, productivity is automatically increasing okay so here you can see that uh, in, uh, this internet and the network plays a vital role in in our day to day life okay so <clears throat> not only this uh, data sharing but also resource sharing resource sharing is used here so this resource sharing will be uh, sharing all the resources uh, like softwares hardwares printers uh, and even data that can be transmitted through the network so now that you know how benefit networks are it's time to look at the different types of network so we'll see you the types of network so depending on the geography geographical area covered by the network it is classified as a local area network metropolitan area network wide area network personal area network campus area network and wireless uh, local area network so first of all we'll see this local area network a local uh, location uh, range means up to 10 km so the local area network can can extend its network uh, availability to 10 km so next is location so refer to the same office same building same company in, in uh, and in same school okay so 
this local area network can can be applied uh, inside a building with the same floor or uh, same department or you can see that near same school everything can be located by with the help of this local area network speed speed is up to 10 to 100 mbps so megabits per second so you can see that 10 to 100 mbps it's a, it's a very it's a very sufficient way sufficient bandwidth so advantages low, low cost resource sharing security is all available in this local area network so low cost means so when you are sharing all the resources like uh, printers and the 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 cost of movement and the cost of uh, uh, co- uh, cost of taking print out will become very less okay so uh, by uh, the person who wants to take a print out now is uh, is able to come is not able to come to the printer so that you can just uh, give the print from its from his system itself so uh, this is the uh, advantages disadvantages area covered is limited uh, when number of node increases performance decreases so when number of node increases performance decreases so you can see that uh, it can support only 10 to 100 uh, mbps so uh, when number of number of computers or number of uh, devices that are connected to the network increases then the performance of the network will be decreasing since they all will be sending a packet uh, files and receiving files so this would be a very a very tough uh, a way okay so the next thing is metropolitan area network uh, so this ranges from 15 uh, sorry 10 to 15 miles so location uh, of man is a network designed to extend cities uh, over over an entire city speed up to 5 to 10 mbps advantage is wider than lawn lan disadvantage is data rate is slow compared to the lan cost uh, lan cost is higher than the lan implementation cost is very higher than the uh, lan here and you can see that it can extend to cities so it can take it can connect to one city to another city okay so that that's the that is a way of uh, creating a network in metropolitan area of network so it is a very uh, long range it can connect to two cities so this is uh, metropolitan area network next is wide area network uh, the it is you can see that that uh, the range is above the 1000 kilometers okay so you can see that it is used to do connect countries government projects and uh, so it is used to, to connect uh, only the only the uh, only the cities and the nations and countries okay so this is uh, wide area network and you can see that uh, it uh, it span entire country and continent okay it is used to, to connect continents and countries so speed is up to 256 kbps to uh, 2 mbps so advantages large geographical area can be covered by using this wide area network and you can see that uh, this advantages are comp- complicated and complex high cost 
requires high performance devices low cost and cost lo- lower than l lan so here you can see that the next thing is uh, pan personal area network so this personal area network is is about to create a between 100 Uh, meters okay so with the 100 meters location used for short distance controlled by a single person with a single in a, within a single building okay so personal area network is the network that we create uh, which is next to the devices which is next to you the simple example is your smart watch so your smart watch is connected to your phone okay so your smart phone and it constantly send the data and also receive data so this is a personal area network so when your bluetooth headphone headphones are been connected to your mobile phone okay uh, your smartphone then uh, this is a personal area network okay uh, you are you are using uh, you are using an electronic device which is uh, which has another device uh, very near to you very near to you is uh, is a very in a very short distance is known as personal area network next uh, it speeds around to 256 to uh, 250 kbps okay and you can see that the advantage is uh, effective cost effective and uh, convenient and uh, controlled by single person hotspot may connect up to eight devices so this personal area network is uh, <coughs> is movable so when the network uh, is moving from one part to another part then it is movable so the next uh, disadvantage is a very short distance up to 10 meters only data rate is uh, slow compared to other networks so the next thing is uh, a campus area network so it ranges up to 5 kilometers uh, location larger than uh, lan and smaller than man man means metropolitan area network university schools and uh, small business can use this uh, campus area network uh, speed is 40 kbps to 1 mbps advantages cost efficient cost effective wired and wireless network can be used uh, so uh, high high band uh, high bandwidth multi multi departmental network access this this advantages is uh, very difficult to maintain okay so uh, in this campus area network it is a very small area uh, but larger than lan local area network okay so a few buildings okay so in a university you can see that there are uh, so many buildings okay so to create a, a campus area network then you have to connect all the buildings together so that they may uh, they may transmit uh, data centralizedly okay so that is uh, uh, a way of creating uh, campus area network and you can see that it has some advantages okay it transmit data uh, data to every terminal of the campus and you can see that uh, the cost of uh, implementation is very low here uh, cost efficient and you can also uh, use this wired network or wireless network so mostly they will be using wireless node here so uh, business okay business can be can be done by using this uh, campus area network and you can see that high bandwidth multi departmental network access okay so from one department to another department you can see that apart from lan you can see that uh, there is uh, 
campus area network provides a, a larger bandwidth to access data so the next thing is uh, local area sorry wireless wireless local area network so so the only difference between this uh, lan local area network and the wlan is everything every devices will be connected through wireless medium okay so wired medium means a uh, conductive material will be there inside a wired medium then it will uh, it will transmit uh, the data from one end to another end by using electricity or even you can see that fiber optics uh, uses light energy to uh, transmit data so which is uh, very 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 faster means of uh, transmitting data and even you can see that um, uh, the range uh, the range uh, the speed is the range is up to 50 kilometers okay if you are using wireless uh, wireless local area network you can you, you can see that 50 km 50 kilometers can be used to uh, uh, as a range here and uh, lo location range of a single room to the entire campus use use wi-fi and bluetooth radio waves uh, speed is up to 1 mbps to mm, up to 1 mbps to 54 mbps so with this uh, we'll finish the class today we'll see the rest of the things in the next class thank you students